compassion for the land and the sea. I come from a father that was in the land right struggle, and my father was the front man fighting for the land. My people saw the visitors that came into Gove, and they could go anywhere they liked. And my people were unhappy and said, we have to stop and manage the people, but how do we do? And that's why Dimuro was born, to look after the sea and the land. It's the song lines. It's the song lines that we have about the dugongs and the greenback turtle. And that they are the totem to my people. You know, and we, we sing about it. The song line, it takes our, our spirit to where the destination is. When I came to the Northern Territory, I'd never ever had any Aboriginal people in my school. I'd never worked with Aboriginal people. And I ended up going and working on the Wessel Islands with some really old, three very, very old ladies. Their knowledge of animals and plants was something that I'd never ever seen before. Having worked now with ranger groups and having an understanding of um, people's song lines and dreamings and totems and things. There's a really, really interesting story for Australians to know. What we really need to do is bring people together and start a conversation about sea country. We've got male and female, which is Miley and Guruichi. We also got Snapfield and Dolphin, Undamalamala, in our area. We didn't want our seas to be contaminated, so we had to fight. And that DNA sample, you can do quite a few things with it. One, you can look at the pollution levels. It's our song line connecting all the way up here. Just a scientific name, common name, and then the Moti, Zwai and Erika for different types of turtles. And once things start to go, it's so hard to stop that decline of mammals. Because the old people can't get out anymore, we, we go out, collect all that information, and we have meetings with the old people every three months. Western science has only really been kicking around for a couple of hundred years. We've only been using Latin binomials. You know, we like to use scientific names. These names are very new. Whereas a lot of the names you guys will be dealing with in biocultural knowledge are actually very old. But Western science can actually help you to keep old knowledge strong. Scientists are weird, but it's okay. They're weird in a good way, and sometimes they'll want to do science. And they won't want to listen to elders, but just humbug them. Just put the pressure on them and say, this is important. Now Woods Inlet is part of a dreaming that connects to Dadabana Malinya, Old Man Rock. There's uh, a little bit of room there for the scientists to sit down in the dirt with our old people around the fire and listen to these stories about these other things and these other layers to these animals and to really take it in, not just go, oh yeah, that's like uh, scary stories we tell the kids at night or whatever. This is real for us. This is thousands and thousands and thousands of years of oral history. We like the scientists to come because they show us many different things. For all ranges, we have to learn both ways, our culture and Western culture. Yiru Irarkarangma and Data, Ako Tunungulalanga, Imentlanga, Kajing we Gulyaknet. The data that we are collecting, it's like protecting the land, protecting the sea. So you'll see a lot of juveniles in inshore coastal waters and they're about five to ten years of age. I think for any of the research that we're doing, we can't do it without them. It's, you know, it's, it's their country, it's their animals. For us to have a conference like this and start to understand what some of the issues are, um, we can better our relationships and, and start to 
start better planning what we want to achieve for the next few years. My people are already doing harm to the uh, turtle that is nesting. The main aim is to stop the people going with Toyotas and picking up turtles because we need to save turtles for the next generation. Yeah, after a full moon, we go out and take photos of the turtles on each of the three islands. I grew up in welfare and I, my parents weren't around to teach me about culture and everything and it was like important for me to go back and like learn about my culture. I wanted to do um, work experience with the rangers but because I came every day I just ended up getting a job. I'm getting paid but I also get like personally I get to learn. Every now and again you seem to get a blip, something like a climate change event like we've seen with the coral bleaching or the mangrove dieback can have a significant impact on, on most of these species so you know we need to just keep working with the rangers um, to try and reduce as much of these impacts as we can. The Northern Territory is still in reasonably good condition. We've only probably got a few years to help maintain that. We have to have the ranger groups on and engage with us and we engage with them in a very level way. This, this is good to come together so we can learn from one another uh, and learn the issues to find out how we will stand together and work together, like, like my logo on the back of my head says, that we're all looking after our land. Thank you.